everyone welcome to yet another exciting class yes and today our learning targets are i can say the different sounds for the past tense maker ed i can sort words for the past tense maker ed by their ending sound i can ask and answer questions about key details in the story tamai now what do we have on our worksheet 19.1 open your worksheet 19.1 we are going to see something like this remember we said the past tense maker makes how many sounds it makes three sounds the past tense maker ed makes three sounds it makes the ed sound the d sound and the t sound now this past tense maker is very very important for you to understand that this past tense maker makes three sounds and here you are going to sort out words you will see words like started you know different words like greened you put those words in their particular past tense maker for example you have ed you look for words that has the ending of ed or it, it, it makes the past tense maker sound of ed you look for words that have the past tense maker sound of d you look for words that have the past tense maker sound of t so this are very very interesting words that you can sort out on your own now open your reader let's read termite termite now what do you kids like to have for lunch what do you kids have to have for lunch hot dogs chicken nuggets what if i gave you a lump of wood or a big tree stump for lunch would you like that no i wouldn't well, if you were a termite, you would like it. Termites are insects that like to munch on wood. You can see termites. You can see that they're munching on this wood. Now, see this big spike sticking up from the ground. It looks sort of like a rock, but it is a termite mound. If you could look inside, you would see lots of termites. Now, this is the mound. This is a termite bond. If you would like to see what termites look like, take a peek in the box. As you can see, termites look a lot like ants. They have six legs like ants. A termite mound has a queen who makes eggs, just like in an ant hill. Here you can see that the termite queen is much bigger than the rest of the termite. Would a termite munch on your home? It would if your home is made of wood. The termites from a big mound could have your living room for lunch and your bedroom for dinner. Now the topic of today's story is termites. Termites look a lot like ants. They are insects that look a lot like and now let's review the spellings from the story we just read termite we have the or sound as in for and so we have the er sound as in termite and bigger we have the ch sound as in lunch chicken and munch we have tricky words which we said tricky words are words that do not play by the rules we have tricky words like who would and where then our two syllable words which are nuggets sticking inside ant hill living and bedroom now let's review the vocabulary we have stump we have spike we have termite mound you can see the termite mound looks so big we have the queen open your worksheet 19.2 and complete the activity on your worksheet 19.2 now, I still remain your teacher, Miss Sharon. Hope you had an amazing time in this lesson. So, we meet again in our next class. Bye.